Good evening and thanks for joining me on Denver 7 News at 5. I'm Ann Trujillo. In just the last eight months, Denver Public Schools juggled online learning with in-person, watched a superintendent resign, fought to get students out of standardized testing, hired a new superintendent, and then watched as the district's new leader was sued by a former employee before he ever formally took the job. Well, tonight the district faces a protest from a vocal group of students. They claim with everything else going on, the district is ignoring accusations of sexual abuse from multiple adults at DPS. Now, we know this is an explosive claim and one we could not take lightly. Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez is joining us live tonight with more on this story. Ivan? And you can see some of those uh, students or people who just wanted to come out in support of the protest behind me here. Just just a few of them. Uh, we spoke with the lead organizer today and she tells us that they're standing together against predatory adults in the school system. And one of their demands is actually to remove Tay Anderson's name from their diplomas. This lead organizer just uh, graduated from North High a couple of weeks ago. Now this is after multiple and unsubstantiated accusations surfaced accusing Anderson of sexually assaulting students. Students gathered outside Denver City and County building with their demands clear as day. We're demanding that one DPS takes Tay Anderson's name off of all graduating seniors from this year's diploma. And we're also demanding that DPS releases some kind of statement or some kind of just anything but silence to urge Tay to resign from his position because he's temporarily stepped down and the students are not happy with that. Gigi Gordon graduated from North High this year and runs an anti-human trafficking Facebook group. She says it's time for the school board to take responsibility. The board has allowed this to happen for so long. Back in March, BLM 5280 said a woman came forward accusing Tay Anderson of sexually assaulting her. No details or evidence was ever provided and the woman hasn't been identified. Anderson has denied the accusations but has stepped away from his duties while an investigation by the investigations law group is conducted. In a statement, Anderson says in part, these false claims have put my family and I in harm's way and now as a father and son, I must protect those I love first. I take these allegations very seriously and I am uh, I'm fully committed in, uh, to cooperating on any investigation or inquiry resulting from these accusations. The story got more complicated in May when Mary Catherine Brooks Fleming testified at the state capitol that a sexual predator targeted more than 60 students. She did not produce evidence or names. She also didn't respond to our request for comment. The school district confirmed to the Denver Post that Fleming was speaking about Anderson and that the Denver Police Department was aware. But again, no victims or proof has been provided. We asked Denver Police about that allegation. They told us no victims had come forward. We also just received a response from the Denver Board of Education. They say they hear the voices of the community and respect students for speaking out. They also say they're taking these allegations seriously, which is why they've invested more than $50,000 in the investigation. And they're doing that to let, leave no stone left unturned. Behind me, um, Denver Public Schools is actually here. They have a little table out and I spoke with them about, you know, why on their decision to come out. They're actually um, handing people flyers so that people who are who are here protesting can actually read a little bit more about their Title IX process and everything that's involved. Live in Denver, Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7. All right, Ivan, thank you for that. And the Denver Classroom Teachers Association said today that they investigated an accusation against Anderson during the 2019 school board election season, and they wound up endorsing Anderson after finding no specificity to the allegations.